there's Tornado at 213 pounds with some sizable pushing power and a spinning disc that runs at 2,500 RPM. Hi, we're Team Tornado. I'm Andrew, this is Brian, this is Dave. Our robot Tornado pushes all the other robots around. We're going to push Wowat around as much as we like. We're going to push him into the house robots. We're going to cut him to pieces and put him in the pit. Andrew marching at the controls in the middle for Tornado, and Adam Clark for Wowat. And the house spots in the corner patrol zone, Sir Killalot. And joining him, Sergeant Bash. Three. backs out of the way and whoa with those big old claws is getting pushed back by tornado with some awesome pushing power and he's in the wrong place at the wrong time whoa better get out of there and not by sergeant bash's help tornado tries to help him a little bit it takes a chunk out of bash and look at the claws go down into whoa sergeant bash is not letting go he's like a pit bull and now he lets go whoa took some damage on that time those claws have not come down to the ground. I don't know who he thinks he's fighting. But meanwhile, Tornado is taking that spinning disc and shredding the rear side of Wowat, tearing up what little was left after Bash's encounter, and takes him from the side, Tornado. So much power in this bot, trying to put him back into the corners and let the house bots take care of him. And Killalot, out of his corner, pushes Wowat back in the corner. Wowat's trying to fight back with that claw. That thing is dragging really low, and he's got not enough speed to grab anything. Maybe a snail. Tornado is just pushing Wowat at will. Poor Adam Clark is getting pushed around up in the box. He's trying everything he knows to get that bot in competitive motion. But he's having some troubles there as the pit trigger gets in. Fantastic strategy on Tornado's part, who pushes Wowat right to the edge of the pit, and he's dropping him down. Tornado just was dominating all the way through this round, and you can say goodbye to Wowat. Wave for the audience, will you? Thank you. Well, in an opening UK match, the Tornado blows by Wowat and puts Wowat into the pit. A lot of pushing power there. Was that the secret? It's always been one of our main points to be able to push everything. We've seen some uh, very powerful American robots uh, that push around a lot. How do you think you'll stand up to them? We have met one previously in the World Championships, and so we think we should do all right. All right, all right. Good luck to you, the Tornado, as you advance on in the uh, International Championships. And let's hear it for all of our Roboteers. In this round, dead metal in the corner patrol zone. And joining him, Sergeant Bash. Three, two, one. Well, Tornado's allowed interchangeable weapons, but he's done a little razor proofing to keep from getting cut up too bad. Let's see if it works. He still stays within the weight confines. Great bit of strategy on the Tornado's part because the Razor's looking like they're having a little trouble. They're getting pushed back from Tornado's sheer strength and power. There's the spinning disc trigger's been hit, and Razor's far too low to get across that spinning disc of doom. Tornado on the pushing attack, pushing Razor right into Dead Metal's corner patrol zone. And they do a little do -si do and get out of it, but Dead Metal has not given up yet. He's burying that saw right down into the razor proof in a tornado. And Razor's biting right down into Tornado. Finally got a chunk of something that's gonna work. 
The boys on the Razor team are ecstatic about this. Look at that. Boy, when he sinks his teeth into you, it's all over. You're a goner. But the Tornado guys have got a lot of power, even though they got all that Razor proofing. Let's see if it's going to get him out of trouble. Yes, and they got some power. Somebody's motor is laying right on the arena floor. I wonder what that came out of. It must have been the spinning front disc of Tornado. Because Razor so well enclosed, nothing that big would drop out without you really seeing some major damage. And speaking of damage, here comes Dead Metal with a saw. For some reason, the house spots are picking on Tornado when they really should have been after Razor, who was in the corner patrol zone. And now Tornado's gonna make Razor feel it. Tornado pushing Razor right back into Dead Metal's corner patrol zone. And Dead Metal again puts the saw down into Tornado instead. And Bash from behind has got Tornado. And it's all over. This is gonna have to go to a judge's decision and they got their work cut out for them. It was a pretty equal battle between these guys. Tornado had all the pushing power and Razor had the grabbing power. There's a very small margin between winner and loser in this battle. Any decision right here is bound to create some controversy and this one no doubt will. But by a split decision, two to one, our judges have decided that Tornado will continue in the international competition. No less than a, than a shocking upset. Either way you slice it, it's, it's controversial. I had to notice that Tornado literally tried to razor-proof their robot. Is that uh, within the confines of fair play? Well, we, uh, we got in on them still. They made it a little bit short. So we still got in there. Uh, That's a real surprising decision. Well, they're saying that uh, the tornado was showing more aggression, but it was an excellent match. Uh, match. Oh, destined yeah. to go in, down in history as one of the great matchups here on Robot Wars. Guys, do you agree with the decision? I think it's fair. There were plenty of times there where we pushed Razor into the CPZs and the house robots didn't touch him. Yeah, but that is a good looking robot. I wouldn't want to mess with it either. Yeah, it is a very nice looking robot, but doesn't matter, it's still here to be trashed. You don't feel guilty that you, you essentially razor-proofed the car and denied the fans <laughs> the, the thrill of seeing, of seeing the razor sink its fangs into your metal carcass? Well, we have no problem with doing that whatsoever. The rules allow us to do interchangeable weapons, and what's that apart from a crusher-proof weapon? Well, guys, that was a, a, a creative stroke of genius. I congratulate you. It's a huge upset. Razor, I'm sure you guys will be back, and you've earned the right to represent the UK in our international competition. Let's hear it for all the Roboteers. And there it is. Razor goes out on a judge's decision. And we've got our international final with General Chomps a lot from the States and Tornado from the UK. Stand by. There's Tim Burkhofer for General Chomps at the controls. And Andrew Marchant for Tornado at the controls. And guarding the corner patrol zones in this final, Shunt with a diamond edge axe. And joining him for her first appearance tonight, Matilda with her tusks of doom. Three, two, one. Good. Here we go for the international final. Tornado and yet another weapon. It looks like some General Chomsalot proofing this time. Got rid of the razor proofing. He's got a scoop that'll keep Chomsalot from biting down on the front. Tornado still got all the pushing power. Let's see if Chomsalot can get his jaws around this one. Tornado pushes Chomsalot right up into the railing, who ran on the outskirts of that CPC, and Shunt just took full opportunity to come out there and let him know this is my territory, buddy. Tornado comes in behind Chomsalot and just making matters worse for poor General, as Shunt is not letting go of this headlock, and Chomsalot wisely gets out of the way, pulls a wheelie up over Tornado, Tornado hits the pit trigger. Wow, these guys definitely want to win. They're trying really hard. And they put General Chomsalot on the edge of the pit. Oh, can he get out of this one before Tornado puts him down? Chomsalot in full reverse mode, and Tornado is too much for him. What a great final. Great bit of 
driving on Tornado's part. Wow. And the Chomsalot team waiting for the 21 gun salute. Look at him down the hole. Fire in the hole. As the house bots do a little do -si do Let's take a look at the end of that fight where it all mattered. Tornado was making it count as it swept in with a nice little tail move into the pit trigger and then went after a completely disoriented General Chomsalot. Put him right to the edge of the pit and the General was doing their best to keep from falling down. But they were no match for the team of Tornado who pushed him down and kept him down. Which means Tornado wins the finals. And just like that, it's over. Tornado with a stunning knockout over General Chompslot becomes the Robot Wars Extreme Warriors International Champion. This is what it's all about. Not about national pride or about fun. It's about this trophy right here. And you gentlemen get it. Congratulations. You drove an excellent match. And you are very worthy international champions. That was a good fight. Those guys were very hard to push. And our robots, uh, a specialist pusher. Coming off the uh, the Razor, the shocking defeat of the Razor, I noticed that you, you lost some of that armor there. Yeah, we've actually run a different weapon in each round of this. We have weaponry to pretty much suit whatever opponent we come up against. So you like to keep your opponents guessing to gain the advantage? Yes. All right, well, obviously it's working. You've got a trophy, and you are the international champion. And that's it for this episode of Robot Wars Extreme Warriors. Be sure to tune in next time for another exciting show. Until then, guys, fight on! All right.